Today, we'll be talking about Lekuzner's hands. No, nope, not that one. Go away. Now, this video is going to be about hand positions, of course. Hello there, it's Oscar at Virtual Fact Shooter. A while back, I made a video about Absetzen, and a couple of the examples there uh, showed uh, Absetzen from the left Aber position. And I've received a couple of questions about it, like, hey, why would you put that hand as far back as it does? And I've seen some comments on the HEMA Discord server. I've had a discussion about this with Borislav last year, if I recall correctly. And some people have gone as far as to say, like, hey, this might not be the optimal way to hold your messer, as it's not really doing anything in that position, and it leaves you open to attack. And all of these points are pretty valid, so I think it's worth diving a bit deeper into. To get this straight out of the way, uh, I present the left Aber in this way because Lekuner does. I'm making a video series on interpreting his fight book after all. Now, of course, optimization might always be possible, but first let us look at making the source work and then let's see what happens after that. That said, there is no hard and fast rule that says that you always have to do stuff exactly the way Lekuner shows it. After all, it's a book that wasn't written for a modern context, and if you want to change something to fit better with what you do, or what you can physically even do with all your fencing gear on, then that's of course a very good idea. But I do think that Lekuzner makes some sense here with his hand position, and here's why. Of course, it's not really in a position where it's doing anything for you, but it's also not being a target at that moment, and that's really important in Messer Fencing. For people who do longsword, this may not be as much of a consideration, but messers generally have rather poor hand protection. Sure, there's examples with a really big nagel and a knuckle bow, but the ones that people generally use have just a nagel and a very small cross. That means that you should pretty much have your hand directly behind the cross to keep it safe. Compare this to a longsword, with a pretty substantial cross, and in the case of faders, a shield as well. And you'll see that the hand is just a little bit more of an easy target with messer. So, that means that holding the messer out in front is a bad idea. But keeping it just in front of your body like this should also be fine, right? Well, that depends on how crafty your opponent is. As the hand is in front of the head and the body, it could very much become a prime target. And unfortunately, it sits beautifully on the attack vector towards a deep target as well. This means that you either get hit on the hand, parry and be subject to follow-ups such as Dorkvexon, or retreat and give up the opportunity to act. It's all not ideal, so that's why keeping the hand a little further back, anywhere between Lekuchner and holding it on your right hip, might be a better option. Added to this, it might be a good idea to not square up to your partner as much, but bring the right shoulder a bit more forward, hiding your hand as it were. This way you know you're giving up the deep target, so you expect your opponent to commit to a thrust to the torso or a cut to the head, and that opens up a pretty reliable offset for you. Why is this specifically the case for Eber? Stier has the hand near to the head, and already easily covers one side, and from there it doesn't take much to go to the hangen on either side. Attacks to the hand within Lugensland and Pastai are vectoring away from your deep targets, so you can freely play with them there without fearing the point putting you on the back foot. I'll end this video with a tiny confession. I'm really not that fond of the left Aber, for all the reasons highlighted above. I mean, it kind of works when you don't really have a jacket, arm guards and heavy gloves on, but with all that on, you're really going to just be fighting to hold the messer, because you have only one hand on your weapon, and that hand is attached to an arm that needs to go across the body, and form just goes out the window too fast. I much prefer the right Aber, uh, because it's a lot easier to make work when sparring in full gear. So, a quick and short one this time, but hopefully still informative and amusing. I keep trying to put quality content out, rather than falling for superficial stuff just to please the algorithm. And if you appreciate that, please consider helping the channel out by liking, commenting, sharing it with a friend, and perhaps even checking out Patreon. All that support is massively appreciated, so thank you all. Anyway, having said all that, I hope to see you all for the next videos. Be well until then, and of course, okay doi.